Hey Rose, it is when Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, it's Wednesday. That is not an outtake. That counts. I got it right. I really liked your video from Monday about all the animal extremophiles. You know how much I love animals, and especially extreme animals. Extreme! Extreme! Extreme animals! Extreme! Extreme! What? <laughs> However, there was one problem. You left out one of my favorite extremophiles, the tardigrade. The tardigrade is awesome. It can live at temperatures just above absolute zero, which is like the coldest that can physically exist. And it can also live at like super above boiling temperatures. It can also live at like super high pressures, like the bottom of the ocean, or it can live in the vacuum of space, in complete space, just by itself. And you left it out. I would like to issue a formal complaint. Uh, actually, one second. Okay, I just did some research and it turns out that the tardigrade is not actually an extremophile because, like you mentioned in your video on Monday, an extremophile is specifically designed to live in one kind of an extreme environment, whereas a tardigrade can live in all kinds of extreme environments. It can go from the vacuum of space to the bottom of the ocean and be fine. Extreme. Complaint redacted. So, it isn't an extremophile, but the tardigrade is like way better than an extremophile, right? It is like the queen chess piece of extremophiles. Oh gosh. Nerd life. Extreme. I'm drinking coffee, by the way. Extreme. Okay, moving on. Yesterday, I watched and reviewed a movie called Maiden Trip about a 14 year old girl. It's a documentary about a 14 year old girl named Laura Decker who became the youngest person to do a solo circumnavigation around the world by herself. This was like uh, four years ago, and she was 14 when she started. 14! Extreme! She fought her government like crazy because they didn't want to let her go because obviously that sounds like a horrible idea to let a 14-year-old go sail around the world by themselves. But eventually she won, and she did it, and it took her two years. She ended up traveling 27,000 miles, uh, stopped at all kinds of awesome places all around the world, uh, like videoed the entire thing. That blows my mind. That's like in the prime, like, growth period of your life. Like, what was I doing when I was like 14 to 16 years old? Oh, man, not sailing around the world. Extreme. When you're sailing around the world, there's periods where you can't even see land. You're so in the middle of the ocean for months at a time. Imagine being alone like that. Extreme. So anyway, I've been thinking a lot about Laura Decker lately and how she is one of my recent heroes because she's just like an explorer. Like, even her government wasn't going to let her go, and she fought them forever so she could just explore and go and visit all these awesome places and meet all these amazing people and learn about the world and see it. Can you just imagine what that kind of experience is going to do for her for her entire life? But yeah, I definitely relate to Laura Decker, not because I've, like, traveled around the world or anything. I would definitely like to, but I think of myself as an explorer, too, generally an explorer of knowledge. Um... And the way that I do that with the funds and resources that I have are with the internet and looking things up and learning on my own. However, Rose and I both got our degrees in anthropology. We love studying people and cultures of all my entire life. Uh, studying anthropology is the thing that has defined who I am the most. When we first started dating, we even talked about one day hopefully hosting some kind of like travel or cultural learning show together. That's honestly one of the kind of ideas that started this YouTube channel, and we kind of would still like to move in that direction. So I guess where I'm going with this, as it turns out, is, um, help us get there. I love making these videos for you. I know Rose does too, and we spend a lot of time trying to make sure the content is diversified and engaging and entertaining, but sometimes we're limited to just looking things up on the internet to talk about. But learning is about experiences, and we would love to be able to show those experiences to you. When we get a chance, we go on road trips, uh, like last summer when we went and visited the ruins in Chaco Canyon, and we went to Georgia and checked out a whole bunch of cool stuff there. We like to travel, and we want to be able to show that, uh, but we're just very limited. I like to think that I'm pretty intelligent, yet still relatable, and I have a lot to offer, so I would love to be able to have every opportunity to do that. So, if you like Rose and I, or you like learning from us, 
um, and you would like to deepen that layer of learning that you can do, then help us out. And it's super easy. All you have to do is share this video. Or if you've seen other of our videos, then pick your favorite one. Or if you know someone who you think might like our videos or like a specific video of ours, share it with them. Better yet, next time you see them, uh, show it to them IRL, in real life. Uh, and then talk about it. And then get on the comment section here and talk with us about it. And let's be friends. Because ultimately, that's what I really want, is friends. Oh, I got kind of depressing. <laughs> Don't worry, I have friends. I promise, they're real. The more people that support us, the more opportunities we will have to make our goals and our dreams come true, just like Laura Decker was able to make her dreams come true. So, if you could help us out, that'd be awesome. Thank you very much, and Rose, we'll see you on Friday. Adios.